Link 2012. Well, hello there. My name is Link 2012, and this is a new series. I don't know what I'm going to call it. We'll see when we upload it. Basically, I did mine the game. I found it to find out exactly what changes happened, exactly what sales and updates are going to be in the near future. So, let's jump right into it. So the first thing is that BitHero has decided to change their IP. I don't exactly know what that means, but essentially, if you do data mining as well, you have to go re-download the tool from base because they decided, hey, we're just going to change the game like that. Um, the most notable new addition is cans. So cans, we currently haven't seen them yet, but I already know what they're going to do digging through the code. So we're going to have, what is this? Uh, I think it's five different types of cans. We're going to have blue, green, pink, red, and yellow cans. These are all consumables, and what they will do is they will grant, uh, they will grant energy, shards, uh, uh, tickets, etc. And we can actually see some of the assets. The assets are currently uploaded for these cans online. I'm just going to pull up a few of them here. So we've got the, the beautiful yellow can, we've got the glorious blue can, and of course, who could forget, the green can. Now I also know the name of some of these. So from what I could tell, I could gather three names, which are the can of peas, corn, and ketchup, so probably corresponding to the colors of those. There's also some other interesting consumables I found in the code, which were cranberry sauce and stuffing. Now these might be the other cans, due to the fact that I could only find three cans in the code, but if not, then, well, that's pretty interesting. Alright, so we have some other interesting stuff. One thing I found was that they're, they changed the abilities section, and there's a new ability that they added in. It's, it's going to be a damage random ability. Apparently, it's for a mythic cloud familiar, so probably with that expedition coming up, that's probably an ability for one of the new familiars, which is interesting, because I couldn't really find any content on the new expedition, which was sad. I can double check after this episode, but I, I honestly couldn't find any information on the expedition, which is very sad, but oh well, such is life. Alright, so we also get uh, another interesting thing was that the turkey pet, the cosmetic pet that we, we got, is now labeled as unique, which I don't understand exactly what that does. But they, they basically changed it from sort of a normal pet to a unique pet. Obviously the feast table was added, so for those of you that haven't checked it out, go get a, uh, a daily reward from the feast table. Every single day they're going to have a new reward. That's going to be really interesting. There's also going to be a ton of sales this week, and that's probably what most of you are here for. So let's get let's uh, go right into the sale. So on the 19th, we're going to have an offense accessory, offense pet sale. On the 20th, we're going to have a defense pet sale. On the 21st, we're going to have super scrolls, capture tomes, XP tomes, item find tomes, rocket skates, gold pants. Uh, I think that's most of these last one day. Some of them are going to last a few days, from what I can tell. All right, on the 22nd, we're going to get shards, energy tokens and badges um it will also anything else so <laughs> you got you got shards for your raid energy for whatever you're also going to end up getting um what, what else is it listed here basically all the resources so you're going to be able to buy packs of all the resources on the 22nd on the 23rd there's going to be a really interesting sale so it looks like all of the uh, special familiars are going to be up for sale we're going to get muncher M1 Shell, Xeros, Galco. In addition, there's going to be an offense pet accessory sale, defense pet accessory, uh, defense pet, offense pet, um, defense accessory, super scroll shards. I think it's just super scroll and shards too, which was interesting. I don't recall seeing anything besides the shards. So, but anyway, so that is pretty much the abridged version of this update. It's really interesting because they have a lot of assets. Um, pre-programmed in in the code but they don't actually have them up on the site yet so I couldn't actually show you guys anything but the cans. So my guess is we're going to get the cans pretty soon due to the fact that it was uploaded just today. I'm not sure if I'll keep you guys updated this week but this is probably enough information until maybe I get information on Expedition then I'll probably upload that too. But until next time, don't forget to make the most of your day and keep on contributing.